and awakening can happen and in the period of awakening when there's still a personal sense of a person there then there's an idea that enlightenment or liberation has happened and people rush out and start giving satsangs when there's still a personal view mm -hmm. from which that communication is happening. Mm -hmm. So what they're doing is they're teaching, because they think there is still a person there that that happened to, because of, in a way, of what happened before, like meditation or whatever, <clears throat> then they go and speak to other apparent people and suggest to them or teach them that they can do the same thing or they can attain enlightenment already attained here. So yeah. that, uh, there's a lot of confusion still around about the idea that there is someone, a presumption that there is someone who can attain this. I, I totally get it, get this, but I just have to say, this, all this double speak really pisses me off because, you know, it's like there's, a, in a, there, it, Advaita, not, there's no body, no thing, not one, not two, but one. I, that's, I get that. That's an absolute truth. I, I, that, mm. yeah. That's I, I get that. I've had this experience. But you hardly ever hear it expressed. Anyway. No, but you, you don't. But, but there's so many. But it's. But but I think where people get lost and just looking around at hunger sometimes is like, what, like is there a, a technique besides listening to the talk, to just have have this realization? Because not that you have to attain it, because we know that's that it's not attainable, but sometimes just. Ram, you know, just sitting in stillness, and no one seems to have the courage to talk about that. It's almost like, oops, better not say mm, 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 the M word, mm, 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 meditate. You know, it's like, God, no, no, have the courage. But who is going to meditate? Oh, come on, who's don't, don't. Yeah, I know, I know. No. I mean, really. Like, ah, the you difficulty know. With, uh, with this is Advaita, apparent Advaita teachers talk about oneness. Mm -hmm. There is only oneness, there is not two-ness. Mm -hmm. And then go on talking to somebody about what they can do about finding that. Exactly. That yes. is the divine misconception. Yes. Except that there are people, they're sitting here listening, and everything's fine, but we're going to walk out here and say, fuck you to everybody in traffic. Absolutely. But who's going yeah. to do that? Ex oh, God. Okay. Uh, what you're saying is that there's someone there who can choose to say, fuck you to everyone. I have everyone, no problem with any of that. But there's no one there that can, who is, if there's somebody there that can say, fuck off to everybody, yeah. is there also somebody there that can find enlightenment? No. no, no. Neither can happen. There's no one. I understand, but, the, but I have no problem with saying, fuck you to anyone, but I have a problem with saying, to the, the people that say afterwards, you shouldn't have done that. And that is a personal self coming in with a so-called, you know... Well, if you listen to that, then you're fascinated by the idea that there's someone there who can become <laughs> someone who doesn't say fuck off. And the technology... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Hey, uh, if uh, you and uh, Tolly and uh, Leonard and some of the other people got together, do you think there would be the appearance of disagreement? Do you think there would be the appearance of disagreement? Um, yes, but not with the person, with the teachings. And with the idea that there is anything that can be taught. Who's going to learn this, you know? It's like teaching, it's like me standing here and saying to you, I'm going to teach you how to breathe or to make the blood run around your body. It's ridiculous. Why, you know, Advaita can't be taught. Advaita is being. There is oneness. How can anyone teach that? Thanks. This has been so interesting because you can see how this is just going to really irritate a lot of people. Yes. Because it pulls the rug out from under <laughs> psychology, politics, religion, spirituality, everything. In the idea that those things will bring you to this, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and because uh, I always find uh, when you even try to talk about it, you start to say something and then you realize you're just speaking from that. I mean, we're just so conditioned. Well, you're speaking things. from the idea that there is someone with choice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it just drives... We're so driven by that, and, it, and it's interesting because some of the things that you say, the mind is literally just like stunned. It's yeah. stunned because it just it can't go there, and that's why you said it's a real conversation yeah. stopper. Because it's beyond the mind. Yeah. Well, what anyway. you are is beyond the mind. Well, this this thing anyway. This is great. <laughs> <laughs>
What's the distinction between what's apparent and what's real? They're both the same thing. Apparently nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. This is the appearance of nothing happening. <laughs> this is no thing happening. There's no way to this prove This is no it. thing flowering. This is being flowering. Being is no thing and everything. But so something is happening. No, you, you, you think it's happening. The individual would think this is happening, that's happening, and that's happening. The individual sees this and puts it together as a photograph. It's one image, and the, and the mind puts it, that image next to that one, and that one, and that one, and calls it a story. There's no story. There's nothing. Yes, there may be no story, but to you, aren't those flowers blooming or sitting? Those flowers are being flowering. Right, so that's what's happening. Right? No, it's what appears. When there is no one there, that will be seen. When there is no one there? That will be seen. Oh, so as long as someone is present, that distinction is not, not available. Apparent, yeah. So, but no, but someone being there is being... Asleep. Being there, right, I understand. So... And there's nothing I can do about... There is no one. Okay, there's nothing... Um, um, and that's what happens. Yeah. That's what happens. The mind, in, you know, when people go on hearing this, as obviously they do more in, 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 in Europe and so on, because I speak to a lot of... The mind goes on, yeah, but what about... No, hold on, yeah, but what about... Uh, 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 oh, fuck it. Okay. <laughs> so, as long as there is the sense of an individual being here, there is no hope of me seeing the distinction Absolutely. between no, none. apparent and real. None. So I shouldn't even try to figure it out. No. That, you know, how come he's saying nothing is happening Absolutely. when something is really happening? Yeah. So I just give that up. Yeah. Well, no, you can't give it up either. Well, uh, Who's going to give it up? Right. So until that gets given up, there is no hope of seeing... None at all. And there's nothing, nothing that can be done about it. None, nothing. Okay. Thank you.